Hello, my sweet babies. How's everyone doing today? Honey babies, let me tell y'all what. I have thrown away a mini amount until I discovered this. I couldn't get something off of my mat one day, and I just grabbed me one of these sticks, and I went to go in like this. Honey, this is the trick. Let me show you. You want to spray your mat. I'm using isopropyl alcohol, 99%. I'm sure any alcohol will work. I'm pretty sure it don't have to be isopropyl. Okay? Now, what you want to do is take your stick. Now, I usually go by sections. I just start scraping. Okay? Now, what I'm going to do is just go in here. Where that's pink. I'm going to just start scrubbing. Okay? And what this stick does, it gets your dry resin off. It loosens up your glitter. Now, the trick to this stick method is always keep your mat wet with alcohol. Okay? Now, I picked this black one because it was filthy. And I'm hoping y'all can see what's coming off of it. Take your hand, run across the mat. If you feel something, get it. Keep it wet. Let me stop throwing your mats away. I have thrown so many. Y'all, I have thrown so many. Even the ones that I have burnt with my heat gun, I was like, well, that's it. You know what I mean? That's it. That's no more good. But they are. And I'm going to show you what to do with those. What to do with the ones you burn with your heat gun or your torch. Now, it's according to how clean y'all want it. This right here is good enough for me. I don't see any more resin on it. Now, I'm going to move the mat. I'll give it one more little scrapey. Now, I want y'all to look back here. This right here is alcohol ink. Look at that. Just keep pushing, pushing. And you'll feel the lumps of resin. And when you do, spray that spot. Give it a scrub. That's it. And it comes off. But you have to keep it wet. I know I keep saying it, babies. But that, that's the trick. Alright. There we go. Look at that. Is that not better? Look at that. Honey, honey. Give it a little wipe. Then I'm going to move the mat and let y'all see what came off of this mat. Clean. Now, I'm hoping y'all can see what come off this mat. I'm going to try to pull it in the middle. Because I've already cleaned my big one, this big one. I'm talking about even alcohol ink came off of it, guys. Got my mat dirty. You can put paper, like wax paper or whatever you want to under there. Right. So, we have a clean mat, okay? Now, let me get the stuff back off of this one. All right, y'all should have seen this one. <gasps> That's what gave me the idea. Share, share, share. I'm sure they would love to know how to clean mats. This camera, guys, I'm sorry. I don't know what's wrong with this crazy camera. Oh, Lord. Now, all right, let's say you have a mat that um, has a hole in it, like this one. That one has a hole. 
for that. Don't throw it away. It's still good. Fold it over. Get your corners together. Pick up right here in the middle. Hold it. Get you some pinkin shears. These are fabric shears they have. See the blade? What these scissors do is keep fabric from uh, raveling. Say you want to cut you a pair of blue jeans off into shorts. If you use these, it won't ravel. Okay? That's what these are. They're called pinkin shears. And you want to cut your mat. And I'm trying to hold it and cut for y'all. Alright, now then, we're going to cut here. We're going to cut that hole right on out. Okay. Now I know a silicone mat's not going to ravel. I just thought it would be pretty, you know, with this edge. All right. Now you have mats after you clean them. Got to clean them. Same way I cleaned the other one to lay your spoons on. What? Or for little jewelry projects. Right? Let's say you wanted to do this. Look at that. That's perfect. Perfect. Okay? So you have you some little mats. Now you can use this one just like it is. The size that it is. And then just clean it. Now it's got a little honky. But it'll come out. It'll come out eventually. Now let me show y'all this mat. Now nothing is wrong with this mat. Nothing. Except for when they shipped it to me. Look at that. That has never came out. Never. I laid something heavy on it. They had it rolled up. I still don't understand it. But what we're going to do is we're going to cut. I'm going to do down the middle first. And that's just going to give me an idea of where I need to cut. It's just easier to cut a smaller mat than it is a big one. Okay. Alright. Now you see, you have your humpies. So, we're going to go over here on this side. Let's fold it again. Because the humpy is in the middle. See? That's where they had it folded. Hmm. Mm -mm. Sometimes I get moles like that. That's, that's crazy. But anyway. We're going to cut. I'm just going to cut that off. Just like that. There you are. Now I'm going to cut it again. Because I want little spoon rest. Okay. Something to put my resin spoons on. I don't need big ones. Now I'm going to take this and I'm going to cut it even. Okay. Let's get it like that. Because that will drive me crazy. There you go. Look at that. See? Hump is gone and you have little mats that you can put your star sticks on. Look at that. Perfect. And it won't get everywhere. How about that? All right, darlings. I hope that helped y'all with humpy mats and burnt mats and, and uh, how to clean a mat without throwing it away. See, there's our humpy part. Yeah. So we're going to chunk that. Because we don't need it anymore. But anyway, there you go. Pink and cheers. Alcohol. Your dirty mats and a stick. That's all you need. I see it. And your mats will be so pretty and clean. Mm -hmm. All right, darlings. Thank y'all for watching. I appreciate it. And God bless.